don't know. I think I'd just rather do something low key. I think. Uh, I don't really like parties. Low key? Yeah. Dude, this is your bachelor party we're talking about. It's your last night before you become a family man. Hey, oh yeah, how do you know about that? Know what? That I'm gonna be a father. What are you no, talking oh. about? No, never mind. There's nothing. I don't wanna talk about it. What? No, you? And, and Doris? You... <laughs> okay. We went out last night, I took her to dinner to celebrate, you know, and we shared a whole bottle of Martinelli's and things got a little out of hand. I'm just so embarrassed. I don't want to talk about this. You, mm. you, you guys. Yes. We kissed. On the lips, Dre. She even stuck her tongue in my mouth. I don't... It was weird, but I did like it. But I, I can't be a father. I'm, I don't even have my own bank account. I, what am I? Uh, I can't raise a baby. So you, you, just, you only kissed. That's it. Yes, Trey. Do you not get it? Look, you know when you're watching a movie and the two characters they kiss, and then your mom covers your eyes, and the next thing you know they're having a baby. How do you think that happens? Well, that's a step one of Look, Doris a few. Doris is probably getting pregnant as we speak. I sure hope not. Uh, Ethan, this is a conversation that you needed to have with your dad like 10 years ago. Um, but uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, Doris is not pregnant. How can you be sure, though? Ah, just maybe crack open your... Middle school health book and just tell us homeschool. Okay. Oh, good job, good job. Suspect in room. If we want to take down Carl, there's only one way to do it. One way? A podcast. You know, we lay out all the evidence against Carl, we interview witnesses, put some crime music in the background. Yeah, but we don't even know what he did yet. We'll get there. For now, we'll just interview all the neighbors and see if they've noticed anything suspicious. Seriously. Is there something I can help you oh. to do? Oh. Oh, geez. oh, man. Oh, hi, Carl. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we're just taking a nap before we go and clean the next pool, so. Yep, yep, yeah. Just normal, normal pool boy stuff. Nothing to do with the FBI or Mary Kate and Ashley or. If, if there's something you're trying to do to disrupt my campaign, it's not going to work. Carl, why are you so angry all the time? You know, you should really, like, get a hobby or something. You know, channel all that energy into it. Because right now, you have no outlet. It's because I'm sick and tired of putting up with you two. Not as much him because he's a hero and all, but especially you. And when I'm elected HOA president, this whole neighborhood is going to do a complete U-turn. What's the matter? Nothing. I just thought I'd see a sign somewhere. Stay away from me. And stay away from the voters. Thanks for the free toilet paper. <laughs> Get it? Because he's going to wipe his butt with your name. <laughs> Carl Peterson? More like Carl Pooperson. <laughs> Burned him, dude. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right, it's time for us to go deep undercover. No more Trey. No more, Ethan. You mean like Mrs. Doubtfire? I mean, I was going to say more like Big Mama's house because the FBI connection, but yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire works. Time to be a little more inconspicuous. 
I invested in some backup for us, just in case things get hairy. Do you really think that we'll need a taser? Hopefully not, but uh, if things go south, don't be afraid to use it. Oh, but don't tell Doris about it. Great. Another thing that I have to keep from her. Would it really be so bad if she found out that we worked for the FBI? I mean, in all the brochures that I've read, they say that honesty is the most important part when you're engaged. Well, Ethan, you should have thought of that before you got into this line of work. Hey, guys! I've been looking all over for you. Great. Beach boys! Just stay in character. He won't know the difference. <laughs> oh, hi ho guys. Finished all the tasks you gave me. What's next on the agenda for today? Well, hello! Oh, uh, well, hi there, son. Uh, um... My name sure is not Trey, and I do not know what you're talking about with them beach boys, so uh, run along. <laughs> hurry, hurry home, dearie. Why are you guys talking like that? Shut up, Todd. You're going to blow our cover. Wait, so we're not doing the characters anymore? <sighs> Nothing to see here, Todd. If we told you what we were doing, we'd have to kill you. So if, unless you want to die, go. Was you guys like in the FBI or something? <laughs> Who told you? Tell me, tell me, I, I was joking. Are you guys actually in the FBI? Todd, I need you to swear on everything that you will not say a word to anyone. I swear on my life. Heck, I swear on my dog's life. Ethan, what are you doing? Uh, you found out, I had to do something. It's a taser, it shocks people, it doesn't erase their memories. Who's that? It's Cedric. But why is he with Carl? Cedric, where have you been? Carl is not as innocent as you think, okay? You never saw me here. What? What does that mean? Cedric? C Cedric? Where did he go? What is Carl hiding in there? We're not finding out anything out here. We've got to get inside that house. Ugh. Oh. Todd, are you okay? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My neck brace broke my fall. <sighs> Don't worry, though. I would have done the same thing if I found out my two best friends were in the FBI. Wait, so you still remember that? That you guys are working for the FBI? Yeah, that is so cool. Ethan! 